Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me for a quick video on a new launch vehicle I've been making for um, Real Solar System. To give you an idea, that light there usually illuminates a whole vehicle, but this is gigantic. This is a 200 ton launch vehicle. Um, it's called Jupiter 1 because it's based on a Saturn V, but it's extended and it has huge boosters on the side. Those boosters are 3 meters in diameter and 42 meters in length. This entire vehicle is about as tall as a real Saturn V, which happens to be taller than my, my Saturn V in the game. Um, so yeah, it's designed to take 200 tons to uh, low Earth orbit, which I'd call, I don't know, what would you call that? Because you got heavy lifters and super heavy lifters, so this would be like a mega heavy lifter. No, this is um, somewhat similar, no, it's, I was going to say it's somewhat similar to the idea for the Ares vehicle, but that was actually quite different. Basically, this is just um, kind of just like a mix between a Saturn V and a space launch system. Um, but yeah, those two boosters do make a serious difference. Anyway, I have sped it up because it is just a launch, and it does take a while. And you do want, I want people to see all of it because it's interesting. But I have done videos where I leave it at single time to time accelerate, so to get an idea of uh, how much launch you get, just watch one of them. Anyway, um, yeah. So there's, you can see some Mach effects there as it passes through the air of maximum aerodynamic pressure. And I'm really trying to tip over now. We lose the boosters. They have a, um, a very well engineered. Um, decouple setup. We're using only one SRB, which took me a while to engineer. Anyway, I'm trying to kind of frantically tip over, but not too much, because I need to get my um, velocity up. I need to keep my um, Apple apps up. I'm going to put it quite high, because as I fly this right now, I go quite far over the um, Apple apps to get myself into orbit, because there's a low thrust to weight ratio on that top um, on that top stage. It drops off by about five times now. Anyway, we ignite it, and these are the um, Saturn V engines. I would like a slightly more powerful one, actually. I might have one in my mod pack, so I could upgrade this. Um, these engines can't be throttled, because they don't need to be in real life, so that does present some issues. Um, I have tried to decouple the fairings, which are quite weighty, but those kind of stay on, so um, I, I lose a bit of lifting power, but it's fine. I, still, I can still get my 200 tons to orbit, and that's all I really care about. This is the really long bit of the orbit. This is... um. Obviously cruising up to Apple Apps and getting up to velocity, um, but unlike most of my launches, um, Apple Apps isn't where my velocity will be maxed. Um, I'm going to drift right um, much further over my Apple Apps, hopefully not too much, but probably quite a bit, because I'm still falling short by about 2 kilometers a second right now, and I am already descending from my, ap my Apogee. So, um, yeah, so it's just a matter of trying to balance... Um, efficiency um, and speed of getting up to speed, so burning on prograde and not falling back into the atmosphere, which is burning just above prograde. Um, so yeah, I've picked this just to kind of wait here and cruise, and this is the main reason I've sped this up, um, because this does take quite a while. We have got over a G of acceleration right now, um, but uh, but yeah, still not as much as we would ideally like, because, um, well, this has to push 200 tons plus the mass of the vessel, which is very light right now because it's almost out of fuel. It's only at about 300 tons. And here I just go basically on the horizon and try to force myself into orbit. And we are coming to, up to orbital velocity. And yeah, there we go. That's my apogee um, up to max. I think it's actually a tiny bit inside the atmosphere, but you get the idea that if I um, had a very slightly lighter payload, not a slightly lighter payload, if I flew it slightly better, it would work better. Um, it would, you know not fall into the atmosphere. Anyway, um, this is something I've built which weighs around 200 tons. Um, this will be a big interplanetary vessel with two landing type things, very quickly hashed together. It has um, a 5 meter pod on top which can take 6 people to orbit, and that thing beneath it um, is the habitation module. It can take um, 12 other people to orbit, or to anywhere, and it has the Delta V to go to Mars. Yeah, so this could, so the vehicle could take this into orbit, which would be rather nice. Um, obviously if I flew it slightly better and stopped my um, periaps dropping, because I believe it was slightly inside the atmosphere, which is kind of sucky. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just kind of messing around with this. Uh, I've dropped the probe now, um, although there's no fuel in there, which was smart of me. Um, this does have a launch escape system on it. I just kind of messed around with it. There's no gravity on, by the way. That's why this is flying around. It doesn't have a particularly high thrust to weight ratio, um, about half a G. But yeah, it has the Delta V to go to Mars, so I could actually send quite a big mission to Mars um, with this. I'm not sure if it could get back or if it has the sufficient supplies for a journey to Mars, because I do have tapped life support enabled. Um, it is covered in um, RCS, and it probably could do a lot of cool things, so maybe I'll use something like this, but better engineered, I think. Anyway, in terms of real world, something you can actually picture, this is a Soyuz U. 
Um, it's actually a Soyuz U2, basically, is that's what I based it on. It weighs actually a little over 200 tons and probably wouldn't be able to go fully into orbit, but if it was a little bit lighter, this could go all the way into orbit aboard my, um, my, my block, my, um, my heavy lifter. Yeah, and we can watch it take off, and it is a fully working Soyuz, which I might do a video on. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope that guy survives, but I have a feeling he won't. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.